friends, it's Kelly back with another layout using this collection that is from 49 in Market called Serenity. And this whole little kit that I'm working with is actually a subscription kit that I get from my creative scrapbook. And I have uh, had this for probably over a month. I think this was last month's kit and I'm just now getting around to using some of it. So I haven't done much scrapbooking in the month of February, I think. As a matter of fact, I've completed a whole two pages and two cards. It's just been a really busy month and I haven't had much time to scrapbook. So I am uh, hoping to make up for that some in March when I have a few days off. So, <laughs> so I am scrapbooking this gorgeous photo of my gorgeous oldest daughter and um, her new kind of obsession is turquoise and she's showing off all her rings and I got her that turquoise pendant necklace for Christmas and it the color suits her so and she's looking so beautiful as always you know and uh, just thought this would be a great collection to use for this photo and um, I am using the Robon, uh, the big today Robon, which is also a part of this uh, Serenity collection. And it rubs on as smooth as butter. I love 49 and Market uh, Robons. They are, they work perfectly every time. So yeah, while I am rubbing this on, which takes me a minute. Uh, let me tell you a little bit more about my daughter. She is my oldest and is a restaurant manager right now and is about to complete her master's degree in May. So super proud of her. She has worked very hard. She's the first uh, girl in our family to get their master's degree, which is a really big deal. And I'm super proud of her and all the while working full time. And yeah, she's, she's, she's a go-getter. She always has been. And she's also my little fashionista of the family. She loves fashion. She loves makeup. She loves hair. And so, yeah, I get lots of fun photos to scrapbook because because she has that style. She's always had that that little flair <laughs> since she was little. So yeah. So this is Andrea and yeah, my pride and joy. I'm super proud of all my kids, every single one of them, all three of them, <laughs> and love their personalities and all the little things that make them them. And uh, yeah, so I am using this kind of ornate frame and I cut it in half and I'm going to just place it on either side as a layering element. And then I'm gonna pop my photo cluster there up on some um, adhesive foam that I got from Amazon. And they're just big, like five by seven foam sheets. And this pretty easy to use. And it creates a, a, I feel like a more stable base than if you're using like the foam adhesive strips, which I still use those too, but it's kind of, it's more convenient and quicker to just use those big sheets of foam adhesive. So yeah, so I'm gonna use this, uh, rub on up here in this top frame that says choose to be happy and then the rest of the title is today so choose to be happy today not just today but every day choose to be happy <laughs> and I'm playing with some of the elements trying to just decide kind of what I want to do and as you see here I've created a central design which is not something I typically do I usually like do a uh, more of a um, vertical design or um, cattywampus, but you know, I just went here with a 
central up and down kind of design. And I just, I think the elements that I use, like the today and the little strip of um, lace at the bottom, I feel like it just all kind of went, it kind of was calling for this design. So I am pulling out some of my florals because I have acquired quite a collection. Um, when you subscribe to my Creative Scrap Room, it's the limited edition kit. You get like three packs of flowers every month. So I have, like I said, quite the collection of florals that I need to get used. And which is not a problem because if you know me, you know that I love florals and I love scrapbooking with the florals. <laughs> So, and I love creating great big floral clusters, which I will do here. Um, yeah. So I'm using a variety of different shapes, different sizes and different shades of blue and this kind of off white color. And then I'm gonna add the butterfly up there at the top and then I know that I need another cluster because I feel like it's not balanced right now and I thought about adding the cluster up here at the top and at the top right and did not like how that looked I just couldn't get it to work there So I move all of that down. I know those are the things that I want to use in my cluster, but I just didn't like the position of where it was up there. So I'm going to move it down here to the bottom right. And I'm going to add that bright blue flower right in the middle of the ornate circular frame there, and then add some greenery. And then add, just to get it a little more balanced, I'm going to add some of the same elements that I have in that first cluster. So the glue that I'm using for this project, I, I use, um, the glitter art glue for most, for gluing down paper. But to glue down the flowers and stuff, I have found that the Beacon 3-in-1 uh, glue works much better and it holds, it, it grabs the flowers better than, uh, than my art glitter glue, which I love art glitter glue. I use it for everything, but sometimes you need a little bit heavier duty adhesive when you're, um, you know, adhering something larger and bulkier like a flower. And the only problem with the three in one is that it's kind of stringy, but really that's not a problem. And sometimes it's hard to get to come out of the bottle. You have to spend a lot of time shaking it, but it's a really good glue and I like it. I've used it for a long time. And I am adding my butterflies to each cluster. I mean, would this be a collection designed by Kate Pertit without the butterflies? <laughs> she, that I feel like that's kind of her signature thing are her butterflies um, uh, and her florals. But yeah, you have to, she adds, she includes a ton of butterflies in all her collections. And I love it because I love butterflies. So I am about to wrap this up here in just a minute. I think I'm about done. I'm going to ruffle my edges a little bit and add my finishing touches. I am going to add this little word strip at the bottom and I put some foam adhesive on it. And it says, you are amazing, which because she is amazing. <laughs> and that 
we'll, oh no, I'm going to add these little, kind of, these gray blue flower, um, not flowers, leaves to both clusters. And also notice real quick that her shirt, the turquoise, I was inspired by the blue, but it is not the same blue. And that's okay, it's in the same family and I still feel like it it still looks good all together. So thank you so much for watching and be sure to hit that subscribe button and that give me a thumbs up. I so appreciate it and it really helps my channel. Thank you so much, Mimi. Have a great day.